My father was an outdoorsman. He loved to fish. I probably was around nine years old when I remember going fishing with him. We lived in Minnesota. There was lots of lakes. We're fishing and hanging out. We're not really saying a whole lot, you know what I mean? We're spending a lot of quality time together, but we, and when I was younger, we really wouldn't say much. Well, as he retired and he got his boat and we started going more regularly, he started taking me on an annual fishing trip once a year. As an adult now, and I'm going fishing with my dad, we, had, we built a much different kind of relationship. He would talk to me um, often about just my life, you know, and I would talk to him about my life. I traveled a lot in, throughout my career. I've always been just kind of the person who just pushes to get to that next level in my professional career. He would say, uh, sweetheart, you have just got to slow down and smell the flowers. It should have been roses, but he said flowers. That's just how, that's what it was. <laughs> my dad was just the, the type of person that just thought, you know, if you're, if you're not happy and you, you don't um, take care of yourself, if you don't do that in life, you, you, you're not living. And, and, and he believed that. He always lived in the present. He was always, if he was with you, he was with you. He wasn't thinking about other things and other people or other situations in life. I just remember just the most tranquil, peaceful moments of my life were with him. He just taught me to really be a calm, patient, caring individual, which is what he was. I thank him so much for teaching me that and being that example in my life. He was right, and I've, I've, I've tried my best to hold on to that.